topic in the subject computer graphics that is uh, we'll learn about the Sutherland's Hodgman polygon clipping algorithm. So in the previous video I explained about the uh, line clipping algorithm. Now let's see the polygon clipping algorithm. Okay. The topics that I'm going to cover in this video is what exactly the polygon clipping is and what is a Sutherland Hodgman polygon clipping and we will see the algorithm examples and we will also see what are the problems that we are facing in this uh, algorithm. Now let's see what exactly the polygon clipping is. Polygon clipping is a process. Consider the part that is present inside the window and remove or clip the part that is present outside the window. See how simple it is. We need to select only the part that is present inside the window. So this part we need to be selected and this try to clip it. Okay. And this part we need to be selected and this we need to clip it. So the part that is present inside the window that we need to be selected and the part that is present outside the uh, window we need to be clipped. So the finally the output is like this. So this is okay. This will be the output. So the lines that are present the polygon that is present outside the window we had clipped it. Okay. And the inside the window are accepted. So this is a concept of the polygon clipping. Now coming to the Sutherland Hodgman polygon clipping. This algorithm is used for clipping polygons and it works easily. Each line of convex clip polygon by selecting only vertices from the polygon that are visible inside. So the visible side we need to be selected and the invisible that the uh, polygon that is present outside the uh, window that we have to be discarded. So let's take this is a window. Okay, in this example, this is a window and this part we need to be selected. Okay, and this is the polygon part that we need to be selected and the remaining outside the window we need to be clipped. So finally the output is like this. Okay, this is a polygon. This is the polygon that we have cut. Okay, so these are the steps that we need to be followed for this uh, Sutherland Hodgman polygon clipping. So let's see. Consider each edge of a clipping, uh, each edge of the clipping area E. So this is a clipping area. So we need to find the edges. Okay, so this is one edge and this is a one edge here the two edges we need to be selected and the vertices or we need to follow the following steps. First clip given polygon against E. How we are going to clip against uh, an edge of the clipping area that is a question arises. Now let's see. The edge that is extended infinitely to create a boundary and all the vertices are clipped by using this boundary. That is the first step. So and the new list of the vertices generated, whatever the new list that is generated, that has to be passed to the next edge and in the same way in the clockwise direction. So we have to perform the action until all the edges has been used. So let's see the uh, actually there are four possible cases that for any given edge. There are four possible cases will be appeared against current clipping edge E that is either both vertices are present inside the first vertex is present outside whereas the second vertex is inside maybe the reverse the first vertex is inside and while as the second vertex is outside either both the vertices are present or outside. So these are the four, four possible cases that for any given edge of a polygon against current clipping edge. So now let's see the algorithm then you get a clarity on how we are going to clip the polygon. First read the coordinates of all vertices of a polygon. So in the polygon uh, so don't consider it as a uh, the plane that is a window. So just consider the polygon and try to read all the coordinates of vertices of a polygon. Now read the coordinates of the clipping window. So now concentrating on the clipping window whatever the uh, shape that is a clipping window is. So read the coordinates. So these are the coordinates of the clipping window. So here for this this is the four coordinates are there. Try to read the coordinates of the clipping window and consider the left edge of the window. So first try to consider the left edge. Compare the vertices of the edge of the polygon individually with the clipping a plane. So we need to consider the polygon edge. Suppose this is a shape of a polygon like this is a shape of a polygon. So this is the left edge. So we need to be considered 
okay so this is the left edge so we need to be considered uh, the edges of the polygon so this is the edges of the polygon and individually with the clipping plane according to uh, now compare the so that is what compare the vertices of edges of the polygon individually the clipping plane according to four possible relationships between the edges and the clipping boundary save the resulting intersection and vertices in the new list of a vertex so we have to repeat the step 4 and this 5 for removing or the clipping window okay each time the resultant list of vertices is successfully passed to process the next edge of the clipping window so the previous result will be helpful for the next calculation and we need to stop so see this example then you can get a clarity on how we are going to apply these algorithm so this is a vertex list 100 comma 150 200 comma 250 300 comma 200 so these are the points for the polygon what x list is okay so first try to left edge of a clipping area is extended infinitely so this is the left edge okay so this is the left edge of a point or extended infinitely and polygon points are clipped using this so we need to the polygon points we need to be clipped this portion we need to be clipped okay so this is a clipped so after clipping these are the vertex list so what are the vertex four vertex will be appeared one two three four okay so these are the points for this four vertex so now try to remove the top edge of the extended infinitely so this is the top edge right this is the top edge so this is the top edge we need to be remove this top edge of the polygon okay so now after removing that we will find the what is this okay so the polygon this is one point another point another point okay three points of the polygon vertex list now right edge of the extended lift so now this try to be removed clipped right edge is extended infinitely so now you will get here these are the four points okay inside the poly uh, clipping window these are the four points that you, you will get and appear now bottom edge is an extended infinity now try to check is there any bottom edge we need to be clipped so finally these are the vertex list so how you are going to clip and what are the formula that we need to be applied that we will see in this algorithm so here in this algorithm you get a complete clarity what formula we need to be applied for to clip the polygon that is present outside the window okay so to decide if a point is inside or outside the clipper polygon if the vertex of the clipper polygon are given in a clockwise order so we need to go with the clockwise order okay clockwise order then all the points lying on the right side of the clipper edges or inside that polygon it can be calculated by using the formula p is equal to x2 minus x1 into y minus y1 minus y2 minus y1 into x minus x1 where x1 x2 are the line start points and the y1 y2 are the line end point suppose whatever the uh, points that we are applied the vertex okay of the clipping area we applied if that p is less than 0 then the points on right side of the line suppose if you get p is equal to 0 then the points is on the line if p is greater than 0 then the points is on the left side of the line so to find the point of intersection of an edge with the clip boundary suppose if you want to find this is a clip boundary right okay so we uh, we need this is an image so we need to find the points of intersection so to clip that so for that we need to use a formula suppose if two points of an each line is one two and three four are known okay you know the four lines points are known okay then th that is the starting points and the ending points okay intersection is calculated as px comma y is equal to x1 y2 minus y1 x2 into x3 minus x4 minus x1 minus so, so this is a formula that you have to be remember that so then you can easily find out the point of intersection then you can remove that line okay so see in this example so this is a polygon okay so finally what the picture we need to clip the portion okay so this is a portion that is present inside the window has to be appeared and the rest has to be clipped okay so this part we need to be clip and this part we need to be clip and here this part we need to be clip so how we are going to clip that okay so see here uh first save a a dash so a a dash need to be saved okay when you are concentrating on this line 
A and A dash need to be same and try to clip B dash. Okay. So this B dash and A, A, sorry, B and A need to be clipped. And here, now coming to con save A and A dash. So try to save A and A dash. Okay, save A and A dash and try to clip and C comma C dash. So this portion will be clipped. This portion will be clipped. Now try to save B dash and B1. So this you need to save. This part we need to be save and this part need to be clipped. So what the part we need to be clipped? B1 dash double dash comma C and C comma C1 dash. So this we need to be clipped. So this point will be clipped. Okay, see here. Okay, and finally we need to clip this part. So in this part, try to save A and A double dash. A and A double dash is need to be saved and try to remove this part. This part need to be clipped. So after clipping, so this is a final output. So for clipping, I already explained, the, uh, discussed the formula. So whatever the formula that is there for point of intersection. So this formula, you have to be remember that and you try to clip that uh, polygon. Okay. So this is the way you need to uh, follow the steps by using this algorithm. Okay. And try to clip the polygon. So still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Uh, I hope you understand it. Thank you.